No matter who you are, you know that Christmas is right around the corner. You're getting closer and closer to December and the beginning of the holiday season. And with Fortnite being the driest it's been in years, we already know the amount of content that's going to be added in the coming weeks to Christmas. It's gonna be huge with new LTMs, cosmetics, items, challenges, and more. We've made this video to showcase all of the upcoming items that have been leaked and talk about everything which is going to be coming to Fortnite this holiday. Make sure you watch until the end so you know absolutely everything there is to know about Epic Games special plans for Christmas. Official news. Very recently, Epic Games released a blog post announcing that Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 1 was going to be getting an extension that lasts two months. That means Season 12, or Chapter 2 Season 2, whatever you want to call it. It's been delayed until February 2020. That is so far away. I can't believe we're actually going to have a season that lasts from October to February next year. That That is actually crazy. In the post announcing the delay, Epic stated that the reasons for doing so were to prepare for all the new holiday-themed updates and to get ready for winter. I wonder if this is gonna be another season seven deal where they add snow to the map and everyone goes crazy for the holidays and stuff. Well, the blog also gives us a bit of a hint saying that there will be new game features, free rewards, and a live experience that you won't wanna miss. That's right, a new live event is coming and we have leaks that have something to do with this upcoming live experience. Something is gonna be happening at Risky Reels over time in the lead up to the live event. Recent leaks suggest that trucks and cars will be moving around and appearing and disappearing at Risky Reels over time and cranes will be on the back of some of the trucks. Then the screen at Risky will actually be playing a video on loop until New Year's Day. We don't know if the January 1st, 2020 leak date is a placeholder or not, but that's the current leak for when the video at Risky will stop playing. Unfortunately, the video that will be on the screen hasn't been found in the files yet, so we have no idea what's really going on. I speculated earlier that we may get snow on the map similar to Season 7's Christmas update, and well, that was actually speculation because we will indeed be getting Getting snow. According to leaks, snow will be returning to Fortnite this holiday, and actually, if you log into the game right now and look up, you might notice it's beginning to snow. Try it for yourself. They're quite hard to see, but there are actually snowflakes falling from the sky. I also said we don't have a clue what's happening with the live event, but there is something that we think is going to happen based off of a certain leak, but we're going to talk about that later on in the video. For now, there's a new item on the horizon. The ice box. Last Christmas, Fortnite added a new item in the 14 days of Fortnite event called Presents. This item was not in the game for long, but it was a unique weapon where you could throw it on the ground and it would spawn a giant one by one present. If you broke the walls of the present, there would be a mystery item waiting for you inside. It wasn't the most useful sometimes as not only did it make a huge present that could give away your position, but it also gave pretty average loot. This year, however, Fortnite are opting for a different approach. Presents might return. We have yet to see that, but a leaked item coming to the game in the next few weeks is called the ice box, whatever this item may be, whether it's like presents where you throw it and get a box or it's something you can open like season eight's treasure chests, we'll have to see. It could be a form of supply drop too, but who knows? We do know what will be found inside these ice boxes, however, and well, unsurprisingly, it's a ton of ice and snow related loot. First, we've got the snowball, and this is probably gonna be a new item. The closest we've had to a regular snowball item was the snowball launcher, which was just a reskin grenade launcher. We also have the snowball toy emote that you could get through some challenges, but again, there's no no actual snowball item. Let's assume that it'll be something you can just throw and do damage to anyone you hit with, it, or at least so we'd like. The ice box will also include mini shields and a big shield, which I would say are pretty self-explanatory. The box also includes something that's literally just called resource. I have no idea what that is. It could be a placeholder, but yeah, what do you think it could be? Let us know in the comments below. To finish it off, the ice box will give you chiller grenades, a snowball launcher, and a snowman. In case you didn't play Fortnite last Christmas, chiller grenades were used to give enemies icy feet so they would slide everywhere. Snowball launchers, as I said earlier, which is reskin grenade launchers, and the snowman was essentially a bush that you could disguise yourself as, but also throw on the ground to trick enemies. Wait a second, does this mean the grenade launcher's coming back? No! New skins. There's a lot of new skins coming, and I mean a lot. The Christmas season is going to be jam-packed with item shop rewards, and there's a leak that says we'll be getting special item shop discounts on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So make sure you've got code T5G typed into that item shop ready for those sweet, sweet deals. And hey, if you want updates whenever there's new skins added to the game, make sure you go ahead and join our Discord. Links in the description. But let's get into the leak skins. Dominion 
is a skin that looks like if the devil was an anime character. He appears to be the male version of the Mao skin, which released in March of 2019. He's not very Christmassy though, is he? Let's see the rest of these skins. We got Serana. Serana looks like a skin pulled straight from something like Blade Runner or Cyberpunk 2077 with cool leather jacket and those variants you can see behind her. Although there's nothing quite unique about her like some other skins that are really fancy and big over the top designs. That might be a good thing though, if you don't want to stick out on the battlefield. Kuro Hamura is a really interesting skin that kind of looks like if Hellboy became really old and ended up looking like Master Shifu from Kung Fu Panda. Tell me I'm wrong. Those gauntlets on his arms look super dope though. Like the weapons from God of War. Big Chuggis ah, is yes, this guy's name is Big Chuggis. I also wish it was Big Chungus, but I guess this is what we got. To be fair, it could be worse. This skin actually looks pretty cool. Like if Bane was powered by Slurp Juice. Moving on, Turns is yet another unique skin. At a first glance, you might not notice it, but Turns have actually acts as a candle. That'll be cool to see in game. That little flame flying around in the top of your head. Okay, so we haven't got to Christmas themed skins yet, but this is the most Christmas themed skin I've ever seen in my entire life. This is Globe Shaker, and I want to buy it right now. I mean, Come on. He has a Fred Christmas sweater. That's amazing. I'm totally buying this one day with code T5T and item shop. But next up, we got Stingray. Stingray isn't as Christmas themed, but it's still a super original design. The net over Stingray's head is a dope mask, and it kind of looks like the black Spider-Man outfit in the old movies. I should, uh, I should stop comparing kids to real life, but I can't stop. Razor is another or- Are those flip-flops? Okay. I don't know if I want this skin more or less now. Hmm. The Autumn Queen is a skin that kind of looks like a Disney princess, and even though it's winter, I guess Epic Games prefer Autumn. Okay then. Bundles is a Christmas themed cuddle team leader and people have been asking for this forever. Finally, we're getting one. Oh, this is going to be a dope skin to wear for the holidays for sure. Brilliant Bombers next literally just looks like an updated Bright Bomber. Is this supposed to be a variant or a skin? It's its own skin? Okay, well, it just looks like a scam if I'm honest, but Sklaxis is the name of this skin. And damn, this looks cool, but I'd have to see it in game before I decide just how dope on, on the dope meter it is. That is a pretty nice lizard tongue though. Finally, the last two skins are called Hush and and Death Dealer. And these two are pretty generic skins that'll probably be blue rarity. Hopefully. These be better not be epic or legendary because that, that would just be a yikes. <laughs> there are a ton of new pickaxes and gliders and backlings and stuff, but there is just too many to cover. Here's what they all look like, and you can judge for yourself which ones you want to get. But we're not going to go into detail on these because that would be boring. Let's get on to some more juicy topics. New LTMs! There are new LTMs coming with the Christmas update, and it's probably gonna work out similarly to last year's 14 days of Fortnite event, where every single day brought out a new LTM. Although some old LTMs that were exclusive to last year's event will be returning once again. Here's what we know. The ground game LTM is returning for the holidays, and this was available last year in ground game, and the material cap is lowered to only 30 wood, 20 stone, and 20 metal. This means that you focus more on fighting rather than building. Not only that, but max ammo is limited as well, so you have to make every shot count while not being able Able to build. Lee state that the bounty LTM is also coming back, and this was something that was originally called John Wick's Bounty when the Fortnite x John Wick crossover then happened earlier this year. Since then, players have wanted it to come back, and it seems that Bounty will be returning as a non-John Wick themed mode this Christmas. If you played last year, you might remember this slide LTM. This was added last Christmas. It is a mode which gives everyone icy feet to make them slide around, and then also grants infinite ammo and gives all players a grappler. It was a super fun but annoying mode because of fall damage. Either way, it's coming back. The Siphon LTM was an LTM that was added before the actual Siphon craze. Yep. Before that, this mode is the reason that everyone calls the health upon elimination feature Siphon, because this LTM removed all the healing items in the game and made the only way to get the health through eliminating players. It was so fun that Epic made health upon eliminating a thing that everyone loved until they removed it in casual playlists. We still miss you, Siphon. This LTM coming back is going to be super fun, though. To top it off, the one-shot LTM is coming back for Christmas, and this was one of the most fun of all the Christmas LTMs. Players would have low gravity, which lets them jump around, and they were given a tiny amount of health as well as hunting rifles and some other weapons. It was crazy fun just bouncing around and trying to one-tap people with low gravity. I cannot wait for it to return this Christmas. But next up, we've got Final Leaks. We've got a juicy leak to talk about. And no, it's not the fact that the Uncommon Grenade Launcher might be coming back in the future to haunt your dreams. Although, that is a thing that might happen. There are a few new loading screens leaked for Fortnite, and one of them is hiding a major bombshell about the upcoming live event. Not to mention the leaked skins can be found in these loading screens. This first loading screen is a regular one of the two skins, just chilling in the forest with swords. How fun. The second loading screen has a bit more to reveal, however, with a team on a boat escaping another team who have cars? Cars? 
I'm not, I'm not overthinking this, right? I mean, they could just be those undrivable cars we see everywhere, but this loading screen put them there for a reason, right? Does this mean cars are going to be drivable soon? If so, it's, it's a wrap. That's not even the biggest bombshell of the leaked loading screens. May I present to you this? At a first glance, it looks like tons of screens, but let's actually look at what's on these screens. There's some coordinates, some teases for upcoming skins like Big Chuggus, a screen that has the Kevin the Cube memorial on it. And then look at his head. You can see a weather warning on it, but not just any old scanner. It's tracking a storm. Better yet, it looks like a hurricane. Is this new live event going to be a hurricane hitting the island? It sure looks like that might be the case. And just like that, we might have an amazing live event on our hands make sure you keep your eyes glued at risky reel for any changes and we'll definitely be keeping an eye out for you the game has been a bit stale lately and while the tiny loop pool and lack of mobility felt fresh and fun at the beginning after a month and only one new item about the time a large update like this came along i mean what do you think let us know in the comments below and make sure to tell all your friends about everything you heard today or if you don't have time you know just share the video Hey, before you click off this video, check out this video right here. You're not going to believe what happened.